green, white, checker. See Danny Hamlin's hand out the window. He's going to signal to Ryan Blaney when he wants to go. There he goes. Look at those eyes on Denny Hamlin looking in his mirror. What's Ryan Blaney going to do? Right now, he does want him to lock on to him. They get separated a little bit on the back straightaway. Through the speedy drive, Busher not able to be of much help to Newman. Can't get close enough to push him. Now what? danny has got to be careful getting too far out there and letting a big run come. And now as long as they're side by side, he's good. But here comes Newman. Big run. Denny put the block on him. Great job not causing a wreck on that block. White flag under green. Next flag will end the race, and Newman is there. Newman's got locked onto his rear bumper just like he did. Oh, wrecking behind Chase Elliott around. Spinning around, no still green. green. Still green. Still green, and here they come. And here comes Blaney. Ryan Blaney up behind Ryan Newman, no trying to get him to Hamlin. Newman backed up to Blaney. Big run coming here. To no the inside, Newman to the front. Nothing Denny Hamlin could do. What can Ryan Blaney now do? Here comes a push from Denny Hamlin. Oh, this thing's not over yet. Not at all. Ryan Newman off turn four for the final time. Blaney to the outside, oh. to the inside. Here comes Hamlin up the outside. Wow. Crash into the wall, into the air goes oh. Newman. Upside down. In a shower of sparks on his roof. Ryan Newman comes across the line, fourth, and comes to rest. Scoring unofficial between Hamlin and Blaney. Denny Hamlin, Ryan Blaney, too close to call. Our scoring monitor gives us interval to one one hundredth of a second. It was closer than that. Denny Hamlin will go to victory lane. NASCAR has called the race for rain. And Hamlin will pick up his 39th career win tonight. Second of the season after winning the Daytona 500. And his third Darlington win in 16 attempts. He now becomes the 14th driver in history to win three races at the track too tough to tame. And he's won the first NASCAR Wednesday race since July 4th, 1984, when Richard Petty got his <laughs> 200th victory. How about that mask? This track, and you're running that close to the wall, can just pull you right into it. White flag waves, one lap to go, sponsored by Credit One Bank. Blaney coming for second to the inside of Chase Elliott and back up in line. Tyler Reddick has fallen two and a half behind them. And here comes Hamlin. Denny Hamlin, 40th career win at Homestead Miami Speedway. Right. That's a championship racing right there. Have a good day. Pylon 1.84. Coming off turn three, something at the top of the day with lightning and rain. I didn't think we'd see the white flag. I really, one to go, brought to you by Credit One Bank. Yeah, Mike, I really thought this race was going to, even when we got going after the rain delay, it was going to be a shorter race than a, a full length race. Pretty amazing. Not counting the road courses, it's the longest last lap in NASCAR. Two and a half miles around the tri-cornered Pocono Raceway. Boy, Denny Hamlin, what a season he is having. Coming off a strong season, just came up short for that championship last year. Is this the year that maybe he can get that done for the first time? But he's going to 
He loves this racetrack here at Pocono, Mike. And Denny Hamlin is going to tie Jeff Gordon as the all-time Pocono winner with six checkered flags at the Tricky Triangle. So many have said last year was Denny Hamlin's greatest year. He wasn't able to win the championship. Then he said that his loss at Indy earlier might have been bigger than losing the championship last year. Well, now, with one lap to go, presented by Credit One Bank, Denny Hamlin in position to win his fifth race of 2020. The gap still a half a second between first and second. Denny Hamlin's successes this year started off with another Daytona 500 win. He says one of the biggest things he wants to do this year is be able to celebrate with his crew because he knows that's who's getting him up front, giving him fast cars. They've done it again. He's done it again. Kansas winner, Denny Hamlin. Mark, what a dream, man. This race team is such a dream. Congrats, Denny Hamlin. Congrats, everybody. Thank you. They needed to bounce back. Burn it down. Go get you to start finish. They've had so much speed this year, but some poor finishes over the last couple of weeks. These guys work so hard. This schedule has been grueling on these crew members. Rick, I talked to Chris Gabehart today. He told me with confidence the finishes were not indicative of the cars they've had the last few weeks. He goes, don't worry about where we finished. We had good cars. We had cars that could have won. I wasn't sure. I was like, man, I watched those races. Are you sure? Well, he knew what he was talking about. Getting pretty good at celebrating. Is Denny Hill with this checkered flag moment brought to you by Advanced Auto Parts? A couple years ago, we were thinking Denny might be kind of at the end of his career. Some young drivers come in. He was winless that year. We were thinking, <laughs> wait a second, this guy can't find victory lane. Now he's at the height. Yeah, this is as good as he's ever been. That's for sure. I think every, all the pieces are there for him. win sticker to the roof of that race car today. Yeah, I know he had to pass Martin Truex Jr. to win this race, but won all the stages as well. 23 races entered this year, 13 top fives. That's a career record for Denny Hamlin. One lap to go, presented by Credit One Bank. He's seen the white flag again, five wins already in 2020. Looks as though he's going to tie Kevin Harvick for the most wins in 2020. Harvick has six. Denny Hamlin looking for his six. As you mentioned, he had never won at the Monster Mile before. Momentum definitely on his side as Denny Hamlin comes out of four. And Denny Hamlin will once again see the checkered flag. He wins at the Monster Mile. Matt Benedetto, Denny Hamlin. Benedetto on the inside. Does he have enough fuel? Does the guy pushing him? Right behind, have enough fuel. And Denny Hamlin, we know he's got enough fuel. To come back through the restart zone. Two laps to go from Talladega. Get even down here to turn one. De Benedetto gets out ahead here, but all these, both lines are organized. Pusher pushing. De Benedetto out front now. Three car lengths. Bottom advantage, 17, 24 clear. Pusher continues to bottom push advantage. down the back straightaway. Locked up in tandem. They're getting away. Can they stay in tandem? They almost have to now. They've gotten so far out in front. If they don't stay hooked up, the other guys will run them down. William Byron trying to find some help. Is there enough fuel in either one of these two cars out front? Look at Byron being able to pull up to the 17, going to get on the corner panel. That's going to pull the 17 off the 21. It separates the white flag one more time around at Talladega. Eric Jones to the inside here. Jones is now going to push the 21. Now it's a matter of how long.
Where the Wood it? Brothers and Matt DiBenedetto out front at Talladega. No organization right now. Look at this outside line. Oh, we got a car on the wall, the back straightaway. Cody Ware. Here comes the 17 and the 24. They're going to try to block. Eric, Eric in the gets wall. up into the wall. Now the 24, a big run. He slides. They make more contact. Three wide as they come out of four. Hamlin to the inside. Side draft coming from the 24 car. Denny Hamlin, William Byron through the triangle, coming up to the stripe. And as they go across the stripe, a photo finish. Denny Hamlin gets the nod by 23 one thousandths of a second. No way. <laughs> and Matt DiBenedetto has no clue until he gets Great the information from his team that he again is going to come up short. Denny Hamlin was on the apron. After the crap, we've been through the last week, like I said, he put his in position, we'll win our share, right? Denny Hamlin. Take a look at this, how close it was. Oh, and he's clearly ahead at the line. Tough, tough situation again for Matt Benedetto almost to get his first win. He'll have to try another day. Seven wins this season for Denny Hamlin. It's his 44th career win. Why is that important? It ties Bill Elliott for 18th all time. So NASCAR is going to take a look. You guys mentioned about Denny Hamlin and where he was running. Yeah, it looked like he might have went below the line. NASCAR is going to review to see whether there's any violation there. If Denny Hamlin went below the double yellow line to win the race, there has been a precedent set already. You cannot do that. You can't go to the apron to win a race. If he's advancing his position, I think would be the key moment that NASCAR is looking at. Take another you know, look. We normally think about this yellow line being on the straight, but this is in the corner. He is on the apron of the racetrack. I kind of have to see it from a different perspective to see if the 17 car gave him no choice. But he still continues forward. Even though if the 17 gave him no choice, he still continues forward and passes these two cars. 